Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. If you are truly interested in lending your AMC and GameStop shares to short sellers in order to borrow against the stock, you have been doing so for too long. Not reading. They tricked users into agreeing by displaying a full screen login prompt that users were required to approve in order to access the app without clothing or dismiss buttons. Some may have believed that approving the notification about the new feature did not enable the feature itself. This was done, however, to facilitate share lending on the platform. If you use Wealthsimple, Simple, you may be lending out your shares without even realizing it. Now, the SEC has proposed requiring clearinghouses to continuously monitor margin exposures and granting them the authority to make intraday margin calls as often as circumstances dictate. Again, this is just a proposal by the SEC, and it has not necessarily been passed or implemented, but the proposal is to require clearinghouses. So, for instance, the DTCC monitors margin exposures on an ongoing basis and gives them the ability to make margin calls at any time of day and as frequently as they desire. Consequently, if the DTCC is monitoring margin and saying, hey, this is shady, it's 3.30 on a random Wednesday, we will margin call, bang, bang, bang. That is precisely what the SEC proposes. Therefore, it is not necessarily the most significant news, but it is unquestionably more bullish than bearish, if anything neutral, since it is still in the proposal phase. This is very intriguing. Why did the plaintiffs consent to the BlackRock-funded lawsuit against Allegheny? Having accused Adam Aaron of manipulation, the settlement is intriguing. Why would they settle for a few extra shares if they oppose Adam Aaron's intentions so strongly? Is it now merely to take a snapshot? What does this signifier? The snapshot could be a plan to expose bear shorts, count all shareholders for certain, but also possibly count all shares. It is not surprising that so many shills wish to halt the reverse division. The final statement I disagree with is this one. I do not believe you to be a plant. If you wish to halt the reverse split, you are merely attempting to safeguard your investment. This, however, is intriguing to say the least. See how BlackRock funded Allegheny between July 21, 2022, and October 20, 2022, below. Allegheny Court Employees Retirement Systems lawsuit against AMC utilized $16 million in cash from BlackRock and $8 million in BlackRock transfers. The 1st of July list of vendor expenses, including State Street, Mellon Capital, and others. Also intriguing is the fact that Allegheny does not appear to own shares in any of the 13 EDFs, whereas the other pension funds do so many things with so few answers. However, if you scroll down to the comments, you'll notice that a lot of people are wearing tinfoil hats about this, with one person claiming it's a stalling tactic and another claiming it's a last-ditch effort to exercise all the puts stacked up through July, shorting it all the way down to exercise them at the bottom so they can ride the squeeze with us, except that we extended timeframes. A final one asserts that it appears to be a setup so that retail investors cannot suit in the future. The settlement exonerates AMC of any misconduct, and they attempted to insert a clause prohibiting opting out. Overall, please share your thoughts on this in the comments section below. Getting involved in something extremely piquant. We recently called out GameStop in the Discord. It is performing exceptionally well, and the GameStop options chain is actually expanding to significantly higher strike prices than usual. The greatest call strike price expiring on Friday for GameStop is $80. If this is comparable to January 2021, when the strike price was $60 and reached $65 per share, then we could see over $80 by tomorrow's close. Obviously, this is just a conspiracy theory to explain what we might see on Twitter from Spacebound. Note, however, that the strike price for calls is actually being created and moved further out. Thus, these contracts are drafted to disclose the possibility that something may not be likely to occur. But that is possible. I am still on the phone with GameStop and AMC as we speak. Join the Discord if you want to know my transactions as soon as I execute them. There on the daily we, I discuss equities. Me and 500 of the most incredible individuals. We record gains after losses and include options trading alerts be careful to join the Discord server. The link is below the video, and I'll leave it in the comments for both you and Moomoo. Moomoo is a free trading platform that can be downloaded by those interested. It is probably superior to Robinhood and Webull.
Moreover, if you use my link sign, you will receive additional benefits. Create an account and make a deposit of any quantity to receive up to 20 free shares of stock. Each stock is valued at up to $2,000. And if you're from Australia, you'll receive 10 complimentary AMC shares with your deposit, plus up to 10 more. Consequently, please visit both of these links. It takes two minutes to register for Moomoo, make a deposit, and join Discord. Ank is currently trading exactly sideways at $5.10 on the day. Moreover, this is precisely what we anticipate from AMC. Next week, between Monday and Friday, I anticipate a gap up that at least retests $7 on AMC, followed by a retracement and a possible apex in late May or early June. This is my outlook on AMC, which aligns with bull market cycles. We are currently trading near a significant point of interest, which gives me confidence in my current predictions. On top of that, XRP is beginning to scale up, which could cause Ethereum Classic and AMC to scale up and so on. But that is not the primary perspective on this. We'd have been monitoring cycles predominantly. Currently, GameStop is trading at $23.04, up 0.74% on the day. The morning hours. We experienced a brief decline followed by a U-shaped recovery. That, in my opinion, was an attempt to get bulls who were wagering on calls that were already in the green to actually lock in those gains as I was also on the verge of doing so until I reaffirmed my confidence by examining these cycles and deciding how confident I was in GameStop. Several factors that will influence the market. Us unemployment claims rise 242,000. Estimated 254 as opposed to 264 previously, as the United States has only $25 million left before it reaches its debt ceiling, in which case they could take alternative routes. There is no end of the universe. After the United States reaches its debt limit, other potential solutions include increasing the debt ceiling, cutting spending, and raising taxes, which would be bad overall, privatizing assets, seeking external sources of financial assistance, prioritizing debt payments, and negotiating with creditors are also viable options. But again, it is approaching extremely rapidly. Deutsche Bank has consented to pay $75 million to resolve a proposed class action lawsuit alleging that the financial institution facilitates. The late Jeffrey Epstein's sex trafficking organization was despised. Hong Kong has recently launched a central bank digital currency pilot program. Remember, that is essentially financial servitude. This is what I have for you in today's video. And don't forget that AMC Popcorn is soaring off the shelves at Walmart due to the company's positive earnings report released today. I simply wanted to add this at the conclusion of the video. Shout out to Walmart and AMC respectively. This is the video I have for you folks today. Hopefully, you found the video entertaining or useful. Make careful to click the like button before leaving. Share the video and leave a comment below. Examine the interconnections. Love you all.